Have you ever wondered how basketball players are able to shoot a ball flawlessly in a three-point range? Well, today, we are going to find out how basketball players are able to do it flawlessly. We are going to find the best position to shoot a ball in a three-point range. We know that the standard distance of the ring from the court is 10 feet high, while the distance of the player from the ring is 22 feet. So, to find the best angle to make a 3-point shot, we have to first identify the initial velocity of the X and Y component needed for the ball to touch the ring. Then, we have to solve for the velocity diagonally, then solve for the time needed for the ball to reach the ring after the ball is released by the player. And lastly, we have to solve for the maximum height that the ball travels. We first have to find the initial velocity in the y-axis or the vertical initial velocity. Using the formula final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2 times the acceleration times the distance. Now, let us substitute the given. After solving, we finally get the vertical initial velocity 5.46 meter per second. Now, let us first find the time needed for the ball to reach the basketball ring after it was released by the player. Using the formula, final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus acceleration times the time. Now, let us substitute the given. After substituting, we can now solve for the time it takes the ball to reach the basketball ring. After solving, we finally get the time 0.56 seconds Since we were able to find the time, we can now find the horizontal initial velocity using the formula The horizontal distance is equal to the initial velocity plus one half times acceleration times time squared Now let us substitute the given and then solve for the horizontal initial velocity after solving we finally get the initial velocity 8.24 meter per second. Now, we have to find the diagonal initial velocity. Using the formula, the diagonal initial velocity is equal to the square root of the horizontal initial velocity plus the vertical initial velocity. Let us now substitute the given. After substituting, we can now solve for the diagonal initial velocity. After solving, we finally get the diagonal initial velocity 9.88 meter per second. Before we can determine the best position to shoot a ball in a three point range, you have to first solve for the angle of elevation. Using the formula, sin is equal to the opposite of the angle, which is our vertical velocity over the hypotenuse, which is our diagonal velocity. Now, let us substitute the given and solve it, which will give us 33.37 degrees. Therefore, the best angle for us to make a 3-point shot with a height of 1.52 meters and a distance of 6.7 meters, we must throw the ball in a velocity of 9.88 meter per second at 33.37 degrees. Have you ever wondered what's that curved path a basketball follows? This curved path is seen in various sports such as badminton, tennis, and soccer. This parabolic path is called trajectory. A trajectory is a path that an object in motion follows through space. Hi, I'm Althea Susulan, and today we are going to solve for the vertex of a parabola to determine if the parabola is facing downwards or upwards. We have the equation f of x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 5. To solve for our vertex, we have to use the completing the square root method. First, we have to group the terms with a variable x inside a parenthesis. After that, we have to make the expression inside the parenthesis a perfect square trinomial by dividing the middle term by 2 and squaring it, which will give us 9. Then, we have to add 9 inside the parenthesis and subtract 9 from the constant to retain the value of the expression. After 
after that, we have to factor the perfect square trinomial and simplify the constants inside the parentheses. After solving, we can now determine our ordered pair, which is negative 3 and negative 4. Now that we are able to solve for the vertex of the parabola, we can say that since the vertex is the maximum point of the parabola, the parabola is facing downwards. Thank you 